more examples uh, so that you will have a clear idea, uh, idea about how to write a chemical formula. I want you to solve more examples. Write a formula for bromine. So this is it and send it to the group? Yeah. Write a formula for bromine, calcium, bromide. Sodium Sodium Hydroxide And the last one Is Iron and one more this iron two this iron two means it's a charge of iron or the valency of iron <coughs> sorry iron two chloride so this iron Roman two shows the charge of the iron. Most of you did right. Uh, few like bromine is an element and it's a non-metal, so it will be Br two. Calcium bromide is a compound, ionic compound. Calcium is plus two. Bromine is group seven, so then it will be minus one. Then it will be Ca Br two. Sodium is Na. Sodium hydroxide is NaOH. Iron is Fe. And iron 2 chloride is FeCl2. Um, so these are the ways to write. Then one more thing and then we will end the session. Uh, writing the or finding the mass the weekly homework uh, after submission, I'll discuss, but the thing is because some of the students, this is the first class for them. That's why I will give a new weekly homework and every Friday, I will discuss the weekly homework of chemistry. And Saturday, I'll discuss the weekly homework of physics. But this week, I'll not discuss because some of the students uh, join from this week. So from next week, I will discuss the weekly homework. So chemistry, you have to submit before uh, the class Friday and before fr the Friday class and physics before Saturday's class. So finding atomic or molecular mass. So how to find atomic or molecular mass? First, the concept of atomic mass or molecular mass, uh, it's, uh, basically first we'll start because of shortage of the time, we'll just discuss molecular mass, atomic mass we'll discuss later. So finding molecular mass. So what is a molecular mass? Molecular mass, it is a sum of atomic mass, each element present in the compound.
So when we add the mass of each element which is present in a compound, we call that as molecular mass. For so example, when we write the formula for sodium sulfate. So sodium sulfate, what is the formula for sodium sulfate? Sodium is Na with a charge plus one and sulfate is SO4 with a charge two minus. So sodium sulfate will be Na2. SO4. So sodium sulfate formula is Na2SO4. Now how to find the mass? So again you have to use the periodic table, the atomic mass. So you will use the periodic table. Maybe my periodic table, uh, the mass is not clear to you or visible, but you can you also use your book to identify. So I'll just highlight the part. Like lithium here, it's written three and seven. So here seven is a mass for lithium. For beryllium, it is written four and nine. This picture, it might not be that clear to you, but you can also open your period book and check the periodic table. Boron is 11. So this top side, the higher number is a mass number for each atom. So how to find the atomic mass? So what I will do? I will use a periodic table. We have sodium sulfate Na2SO4. Uh, just a minute, I will open the period, proper periodic table so you will have a better idea. Just so I'm about to finish the end of the session and we'll discuss this tomorrow. Just introduction I'm giving. So sodium sulfate, when you're finding the molecular mass of sodium sulfate, so you will use a periodic table. This is a periodic table. It's from the past paper. So sodium sulfate, so first we'll find the mass of a sodium. So when you check this position of sodium here, so sodium, this is a sodium and what is a mass? The higher number is a mass number. So sodium is 23. And sulfate means it contains sulfur. So sulfur is 32 and it contains oxygen, which is 16. So when I want to write the formula, uh, atomic mass or molecular mass, basically for sodium sulfate. So sodium is 23 multiplied by how many atoms of sodium are there? So there are two atoms of sodium, so 23 multiplied by two. Plus sulfur is how much? How many sulfur are there? One, uh, what is the mass of sulfur? Sulfur is 32. And there is only one sulfur, so we don't have to multiply by any number. Plus oxygen is what? Oxygen is 16. Multiply by how many oxygen atoms are there? Four, so I'll multiply by four. So sodium is 23. Why I multiplied by two? Because there are two atoms of sodium. Sulfur is 32. That's why it's 32. I did not multiply by any number because there is only one. There's only one sulfur. That's why I did not multiply. And oxygen is 16. Multiply by how many are there? Four. So 23 multiplied by four, 46 plus 32 plus 16 multiplied by four. It will be 64. I will add them. So 32 plus 64, that will be 96. 96 plus uh, 46, so that will be. Um, 100 and uh, 142. Is it clear? So to find the molecular mass, what is the molecular mass? It's sum of mass of each element present in a compound. We will use the formula to find the molecular mass. So what is the molecular mass of sodium sulfate? It is 142 and the unit, unit for, this is called AMU. AMU means atomic mass unit. So it is 142 
M. So same way, another example, if I say you want to find a for calcium carbonate, so calcium carbonate is CaCO3, that's a formula. So how to find the atomic molecular mass? So how you can find the molecular mass? You will check three elements are there, calcium, carbon and oxygen. So you will check each element. So calcium, when you check the position of calcium, it's in group two. This is calcium. Here is a calcium and the atomic mass of calcium is 40. Then carbon is there. When I check for carbon, it is 12. And oxygen is 16. So calcium is 40. But there is no other atom. It's only one. So then carbon is 12. Only one atom is there. Plus oxygen is 16. And how many are there? 3. So multiplied by so this will be 40 plus 12, 52, or it will be 40 plus 12, 52, and 16 multiplied by 3, 48. So 48 plus 12 plus 40, so the total will be 100 AMU or atomic mass unit. Is it clear how to, how to find the molecular mass? Yes. Uh, so we will do more examples tomorrow related to molecular mass because it's, this topic is not complete. Tomorrow I will complete this topic. Uh, anyone having a doubt related to today's session can ask. Otherwise, I will uh, end the session. Any doubt?